Hello and welcome back to Repentance. We won the last run. We were trying to do it with Blue Baby, but we ended up doing it with Lazarus and not unlocking anything. So that was fun. We'll play Judas today, I believe. Okay, seed is Delta Quebec 3 Quebec, Kilo 4 Tango Golf. Thank you everyone for continuing to watch this series. As usual, if you continue liking what we're doing, then uh, please give it a like, a comment, and a subscription if you really like it. New videos will keep on coming as long as people keep on watching. And what are we hoping for today? We need to do the light path on Judas and we need to continue doing the dark path on other characters so that we unlock the lamp. But we're not going to be doing that yet because we've got more things to unlock. We'll go back to the challenges when we uh, when we get challenge number four unlocked because my OCD will not allow me to do challenge number five before I've unlocked challenge number four and beaten it. It must be done in order, obviously. So yeah, we'll just we'll have a, a quick little Judas play here. Hopefully enjoy ourselves, hopefully have a, a good run. We'll go get that double bomb there. And then see what's in our item room. Rainbow Baby. Not hugely interesting, but eh, it'll do, I suppose. It's like a uh, fruitcake, like we had on the last run. But it is uh, familiar instead of our own tears, which is nice. I mean, that increases your DPS, right? So, not terrible. Headless Horseman. That is a good boss to have first up. Wow, I say that. Hopefully I'm not gonna die. That would not be good. Come on, there we go. No, we shouldn't die now. Guess what Headless Horseman is going to give us? It's going to give us a pony, which gives us flying. Which we will... Well, flying and speed. And we'll keep this, I think. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like uh, Book of Isle. It is, it is good, but... Flying is very, very valuable in this game. And we'll uh, head on down. Yeah, we might go in the arcade. I mean, Judas starts with fairly decent damage at 4.72 anyway, so... Mm, magic fingers? Nope. Of no interest, thank you very much. Yeah, I need a Red Heart HP upgrade or a HP container before we start entertaining that kind of nonsense with playing blood banks and whatnot. I would like a blood, blood bag. Might not happen though. In the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll just think about, about doing our chargey thing. That is now in a two room charge, used to be four. Change places. Ah, you've been missing for a few run screen flies. I know we had them last run, but it'd been uh, a few prior to that. And we need uh, our store. Usual deal, one champion belt. Wouldn't be averse to something like Humble and Bundle, that would be um, not too shabby. 
don't think you can get HP upgrades from the store. So, probably not going to get that. Dreamcatcher? Yeah, it's half price, right? We'll take a soul heart as well to keep us alive. Keep our deal with the devil chance going. And it's Duke. We can deal with Duke of Flies. That will be fine. I would use the Pony's effect here. However, when Duke is up against the wall, that is not a smart thing to do. Because you'll go through him and then you'll end up getting hit when you stop. Sure, blue cap. Now here's the question, do we go for a devil deal? I say yes. Dead cat and Luigi. Lord. Uh, let's go for both. That'll give us one red heart HP. And it basically takes us down to where we started, but we now have spectral tears and we have nine lives. Let's guard the refining, and I wasn't quite sure of what that item was, so we'll go into the item room anyway. It's a pony. I like it. Always reminds me of Charlie the Unicorn. Does anyone else watch Charlie the Unicorn? Is it just me? The one where his friend stole his liver. It was a little bit dark, if I'm honest, but I enjoyed it. Just got images of uh, of you know people I used to know. Uh, you know, imitating the show and going, Charlie. It's really quite haunting if I think about it. That's fine though. Okay, here's the question. Where is our secret room on this floor? Could be above or below here. Turns out it is probably a little end. Probably below, so it's probably to the right here. You see, that's that's why you don't use the pony's active effect. It's almost right over there. Wow. All right. It is powerful, though. Would we take the left hand? Uh, yeah, I think I would. I've already got one guppy item. It's 4 3. Turns out it's not a question we had to answer anyway. Lucky gone. Lucky bad even. Really needs a key. Nice way of making use of spectral tears and flying here, just like being the lost. That's a point, that's a character we need to unlock. Hmm. It's gonna be here, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Coin bomb charge. Ah, there was no reason to do that. I mean, it gives us a higher devil deal chance, I suppose, but... Uh, let's take charge, baby. Really could do with a key. Are we gonna get one from the super secret room? Probably not. Are we gonna be able to find the super secret room? Again, probably not. Although I suspect 
that it's here. Bit of a random place for it, but no, no it is not. It's a bit of a random floor, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> okay, we know it's guardy. Keys. Hmm. Pop's curse is not bad. Does mean we go back down to half a red heart. But we've got Gappy's head, so so be it. Or dead cat, even. I got no idea what the super secret room is. Might be here, I suppose. Or here. These are very random places for it. That is a very, very, very random place for the super secret room. Just finish off my cup of tea. Let's we'll say hello to Gardy. Come on. Oh, it's this one. Okay. It's one where we don't have to worry about him shooting us. But we do have to worry about all the uh, ads he's spawning. Tell you what, let's go across. Then we'll do it again. This is fun. That's what I think we're gonna get from it. Damage up, damage up would be nice. Rotten heart and a latch key. Gives us our keys. Let me go back to the item room. Got more HP. Happy happy. Do we open the gold chest in the uh, mob trap room? I don't think so. Oh, it's dead tooth. Well, that's a bit of a bust. Ah well, next floor. Hopefully it's something exciting in the item room there. We do have more luck now as well, of course. We're up to two. I don't look at that, but it's Guardy Jr. as our uh, as our boss now. When I say I don't look at that, I mean the uh, the item. I have no idea what it is. Really should have done. I always forget about that with Dreamcatcher. Hmm, fat of mushroom. Plenty of damage. That's good. And the soul heart. Oh, it's going. It's going okay. Need to keep the pace up. Have we done... We have done boss rush, but we have not done hush on Judas. So maybe that's what we choose to do. And we're going the light path as I've uh, previously described. Twelve nineteen. We're on caves two, I believe. Lovely. Should be the way to the box. That was not a hit there. Disgraceful video game. Uh, we'll do the boss. We'll do the boss first. Then we'll go try and find the store. Gertie Jr. 
What was that? Okay. With Garden Jr., the general rule of thumb is you stay to the left or right of them. So they've got the farthest to bounce do we take an experimental treatment? Sure. It was good. That's green, didn't we? Shot speed went down. I walked right into that. Now we are in dire need of getting more shot speed. It's alright though, I mean, look, look at our damage. Damage is a very good. Wasn't expecting to see a little pin there. Small rock? Nope. All about the poison this run. Cool deal. Secret room? Yep. Okay, there wasn't anything in the store, it was green. So we ain't going back. Where's the super secret room? Could be there, I suppose. Nope. We're not gonna go hunting. We'll just head on down. Okay, that's Bloodshot Eye and that's Sister's Fizz. We are not taking Bloodshot Eye. We're also not using our only key for uh, for a single gold chest. Do have a guaranteed deal with the devil here, providing we don't get hit. I don't know what's going on with that. Moblin that's doing uh, dropping boots. Okay, other way it is. Need to keep the base up if we're if we gotta make a passing attempt at doing boss rush. We'll have a bit of flying. Nope, no tinder drops. It's blood shot eye in there, so we are not going in. We'll go in here though. Oh, super great. This is how you're gonna do it. Yes, okay. Yes, and we lost lots of health there that we didn't need to. Keep the speed up. Who was the boss here again? Oh, it was Sister's Fez, wasn't it? That's alright, we can deal with them. Got enough damage to be able to deal with them. Hopefully. Come on. I'm gonna say it as I usually say it. What you do with Sister's Fez is the same thing that you do with all of these kind of mobs. Basically turns into Guardy Jr. afterwards. That was a lot quicker than I was expecting it to be. But they're down. It's good. Uh, safety pin. Ooh, that's all your rift. No, it's not, is it? I have the occult. More damage. It's the ones that you can move halfway through their shop. Okay, down we go. Right, 
first in sack and my mom. Well, I first in sack. Okay, can we get through there without taking the hit? We can. It's good. We definitely, definitely got enough damage now. Check this out. We do have Curse in the Maze, so. To Curse in the Maze? Curse in the Unknown. Is Curse in the Maze the one that randomly throws you around? Curse of the Unknown is the one where you can't see your, your HP, right? Anyway, we take Burst and Sack. Gives a chance of spiders and flies on hit with the Bursting Sack tears, I believe. Can't really remember, but... Oh! Isn't that interesting? They all hit each other. It's good. Don't like the greed heads. I always forget to get a shop that's actually worth it down this time. Hopefully. As opposed to the last two, which have had weed and super greed in them back to back. Speaking of the shop. So I'm making the assumption seeing as the yellow spiders are not yellow and that they're going towards each other. I'm making the assumption there's a uh, humble battle again. Okay, so hard. We'll just do that. It's good. Should be the way to the boss. Yeah, I'm assuming that uh, bursting sack basically makes the spiders your friends. Oh wow. Could do a bit of decent defensive fighting. Time for mom. Okay, down to half health. Tied out in the corner. Terrible. Almost down though. Oh, in this boss rush. Oh well, then we go. Teratoma. Or Festival. Never really know the difference. Hmm? Guppy's head, or Guppy's paw even. Very good bomb. Yeah, not sure if I like this. So we're now one guppy item away from becoming guppy. Which is welcome. Is that it? Indeed it is. Guppy's paw converts a uh, red heart into Two soul hearts, in case anyone was wondering. 
It's a secret room. New animation. It's good. I like it. Magic mush? No. There's really kind of no point in holding on to this lover's card, but we will regard this. And I'm definitely not going in the first room here. Yeah, man. Rune shard. Rune shard did nothing. Little pens. Yep. Almost got hit there. But I didn't. We are there's the boss. Is the pony's active effect gonna be good against Teratoma, Fistula? I think it's Fistula, isn't it? Might be. Pearson shots are really what what does it for that boss. And I suppose the active effect is is Teratoma. It's kind of piercing, right? The thing is, so we've got enough of a tier fright to be able to do this. And the spiders don't do anything. So we've got Barson Sack. And Toothpicks and Krampus. Lump of coal, please. Is what we want. Yeah, that's good. And my head on straight down. Still trying to make hash. We'll have a wee squint in the vault first, though. Get some money for fighting hash. If we choose to do that, of course. So Lump of Coal is going to be very good here because the longer that the tears stay in the air, the more damage they do. And with this Mark of the Occult item, they tend to stay in the air longer. So, oh wow, what was that? That was terrible damage, I get it. Okay, don't need to worry about the spiders, because I'll go for the host. Come on. Okay, getting team's messages. Presumably not saying why you blame the binding of Isaac. Great. The reason why they keep freezing, by the way, is uh, charge baby. Doing work. Time for it. It lives. Ah. I had the feeling I was going to get hit there. Do we go for hush? Do we, do we, do we? I am tempted. That's guppy. Oh, 
Do we do it? Do we do it? It's extremely risky. With half a heart, we're doing hush. Stay poor. That's good. A magic eight ball. Emperor card. Yeah, if we manage to beat Hush, that's that's not a terrible terrible card to have. Uh, right, we're taking PhD. And we get a health up. That's pretty good. Just looking for the obligatory tinted rock that I miss. Um, no, I do not believe so. Okay, what's in store? Well, that gives us two hits. Power pill or the emperor? Well, we take power pill, don't we? Then I suppose. Well, we don't donate, do we? Lover's card. We take the lover's card. Hush with 2 HP. We do have Guppy. We've got Guppy, we've got one patrol. We're doing some pretty serious damage. Oh dear. Oh yeah, the Lover's card's not going to do anything because we're one hit away from death anyway. Yeah, this this was a bad idea. Why did why did I choose to do this? We're going to do hush without taking a hit, are we? Is that what we're going to do? No, no, we're not going to do that. That is not going to happen. I realise we've done it before, we did it with Blue Baggy, but it's truly not easy at all. Oh, continuum shots. Here we go. It's one death. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, well. Alright, we don't need the lover's card. Emperor card's doing nothing for us. Alright. Well, 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 we'll keep on trying. We are going to be here a while. Though. That much I can guarantee you. I mean, we might still do it. It's completely possible. As unlikely as it is. Because we are doing decent damage. We just stay away. We let one patrol do its work.
quite really like is oh I don't know something like uh Picket Shadows. Okay. Keep on trying. Didn't even see it. That's all right. We've got we've got seven attempts. We've got seven attempts to perfect touch. Can we do that? Not with the continuum shots. We can't. But you never know. We might not do the continuum shots. It is RNG based, so. We might manage it. Yeah, Book of Shadows would be very good here. I think I've only just realized the pattern behind that. And how many hours have I played this video game? That's right, too many. Yeah, I don't like it. Cannot go into the corner for the continuum shots. You know this. Can keep the flies going. Okay, that's like 20% done. Now you're gonna do flies. Why, oh why, oh why did I decide to do hush? Because I'm an idiot. I mean, we can quite consistently get him down to around about half HP. Okay, no continuum shot. Oh, what is wrong with you? can't do it. I, I cannot do this with one HP. getting two runs today 
and it's going to be a while. <sighs> mistake. Mistake, mistake. You knew it was going to be a mistake as well. That's what makes it hard. Instead of being greedy, you should have just went to to the cathedral. You had a good run. Change places. And and you should have should have just not been greedy. It was as simple as that. But you thought you knew better. But news for you, you did not No better, that is. Oh well. You live and learn. Or you live and don't learn, is the case that often is with me. I hate fighting. Hush with, with nine lives as well. It's just. It's so depressing if you die. Okay, monstro is down. Ah, speed and damage. What a wonderful combination. Down we go. So what are we going to do with our second run? We're going to go fight Hush. No. Okay, we're going to prove that we can make Decent, well informed decisions is what we're going to do. Harlot win, baby. Sure, you can come along for the ride. I do need a key. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep on keeping on. We are decently powerful now, nice and early. We've got six and a half damage. So, we should be able to take care of just about whatever this boss throws at us. It's Gemini. I haven't seen you in a couple of runs. Nice to see you again. Oh, on a side note, I saw the, uh, there's been a couple of game trailers come out in recent times. I mean, everyone knows this. Super Bandage, very good. Ah, Brimstone Bombs, sure. Um, yeah. So like I say, there's, we're obviously in the run up to E3 and uh, I mean, I suppose it's not really E3 this year, is it? We're in the run up to traditionally what would be E3. Um, and so far we've had a couple of announcements come out. We have had or a couple of announcements that have spoken to me. Uh, yesterday was uh, Battlefield 2042, kind of Battlefield 6, um, looked like a lot of fun, haven't played the Battlefield since, uh, since number 4 I believe, either 3 or 4, always prefer it to Call of Duty, just because it's a bit more, it's a bit more ridiculous, you know, so yeah that was fun. Um, also really liked the trailer for uh, Far Cry 6. Yeah, it was just... It kind of looked, it looked like fun. Oh no. 
actually you know what let's let's do my reflection just just for a little bit of fun so what my reflection is as you can see it's your your tears come back to you i said fun i'm not convinced i necessarily believe it being fun but what are you gonna do oh here's a coin it does it does mr boom works with brimstone bombs isn't that interesting Maybe I already thought that and I thought, well, we don't we don't really need our gears. Because we have Mr. Boom and Brimstone Bombs. Okay. Let's let's hope for a better time against Rag Rag Mega this time. Perfect. Bum sparrows and we'll head on down. I mean, who doesn't like the uh, the thought of shooting CDs at people in Cuba while the, the CD player gun is playing the Macarena? In what world isn't that amazing? And they must have known that when they were putting the game together and putting the trailer together. I would expect, anyway. Bit of money. Not quite what you would call a speed run this, but we are we are going at a fairly brisk pace. We have got decent stuff for fighting bosses. Brimstone Bombs and uh, Mr. Boom is in effect like having Krampus' head, isn't it? So. There we go. Krampus' head on a two room charge. Yeah, we'll take breakfast. Kind of want perfection. Without going down. Oh well. Never mind. Missed the item room on that last four because of that. Ah, oh, shot speed up. It's pretty good with my reflection, actually. Nothing to be too upset about. You know, I, I, I still don't like my reflection. But what are you going to do? Not a lot, I don't think. Come on. Okay. Ah. Oh got got with the last one that uh, second to last one but point still stands with this one of the last ones uh, get the yellow spider first James because that's what you'll end up getting hit by you're not going to get hit by the big ones you're probably not going to get hit by the skulls either okay item room Item room, item room, item room. Okay, it's fine. He says right before getting hit. Oh, that is terrible. Now then. My question is, where is the item room?
Must be to the left, huh? We're still on target for getting a, uh, a deal here. But you know what? We are not dealing with that room. Super pride's okay though. Why did I take my reflection? The same reason you went to hush on the last four. On the last run. Because you're an idiot. It's just something you have to get used to, I'm afraid. Proptosis? Yeah, I'm not against that, I suppose. Probably should be. Seems we have my reflection with it. Right, don't go down. He didn't enjoy that room. You saw a brimstone bomb, so it's. It's fine. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Couple more keys that we don't need. Usual deal. How did we not get hit? I do not know. Brownie. Brownie is done. That's a power right there. We'll take meat. And we will take seven seals as well for the first time. Little harbingers, we'll head on down. We'll keep on trucking. How on earth did we get hit by that? Okay, thank you for the soul heart. Makes up for that awful damage we took. So little harbingers will, as I'm sure you've noticed, give us a uh, a different one of the, the harbingers. Ooh, wars flies do brimstone, do they? Mm. Why well, is it that interesting? I can't me remember whether it still hit you or not. Or whether the explosion still hits you. I mean, it's quite a good item if you can manage to avoid the uh, exploding flies. It can be even better. Right, okay, one at a time. One at a time. Oh. Okay. Usual deal, don't try and be clever. That is kind of difficult for me. But... Haven't seen the item room, so we will go find that first. Or the store for that matter. Come on, famine. There we go. Ah, cone head. Not a bad item. Protects you from uh, from hits periodically. Kinda like infamy. I think anyway. If I remember correctly. Which, of course, we're not guaranteed to. 
The Harbingers also do contact damage, as you can probably see. Now we'll go to the boss. Got decent HP. We're not fighting Hush on this. I'm not doing that with my reflection. Can't get the distance. Apparently, we do have the option of boss rush, though. Which is good. And we are doing a lot of damage. There's, there's no way to, to say anything but that. Perfect. Is there anything exciting in Boss Rush? There is Cricket's Head. Oh, we've already done Boss Rush, so I'm not making the same mistake twice. We get head on down. I realize it's not technically the same mistake, but it's certainly very, very similar. And it's not going to happen. Just wait until I see something really exciting from the devil deal here, and I'm like, oh, we could do hush with this build. There is definitely potential for that to happen, not going to lie. Again, nope, we are quite powerful. So I believe 404 gives you a random trinket effect on every room. God, I hate these things. There we go. Oh, of course you got it. It's not even a guarantee this is the right way to go. But Hierophant's definitely welcome. I don't know why we're holding on to the uh, Temperance card. Very, very unlikely we're going to use it. Oh, that's all the benefit from the Hyperfrank done. What kind of my man is it? Regular ones. That's fine. Again, we should be we should be broadly okay here. Again, that's, as usual, hope rather than expectation speaking. Just so everyone's clear. Okay, I believe there's one more. There he is. And there's the boss. Who is it going to be? My bet is Triacnid. Oh no, the Matriarch. Oh, the same thing's happened again. You remember a few runs back where we, uh... Yeah, where we kind of lost the, the music. And um, why are we getting so many soul hearts and red hearts? Well, you know what I was saying about the temperance machine? It actually makes sense now. If for no other reason to get lucky coins. Or potentially a bot back. That's what we want. A little bit of speed. Down we go.
So yeah, the first Judas run was a little bit of a bust today. However, this second one, even considering we've got my reflection, is turning out to be pretty alright. Do we go to Hush? And sort of right our wrongs from the last uh, from the last run. I mean, if for no other reason, we actually have a fairly strong build here. Honestly, we've got decent decent HP which we did not have the last time we fought Hush. We have decent damage. I mean, I know we were guppy last time, but we have Brimstone Bombs. We have uh, Little Harbingers with the Warflies doing, doing a lot of damage. <sighs> I mean, we could do... What I said earlier still holds true though. My reflection and hush means that we have to be far, far too close to it. Okay, let's let's make an agreement. Let's let's see what's on the devil deal. Spirit of the night. Right, we're gonna take that anyway. Or or to the pave. Well, Hush is gone, so we'll go up. That's an easy way to answer that. I do think we could have beaten Hush there, though. I'm happy to get flying. Oh, those stupid holy light turrets. I don't think I've ever seen 404 used properly in the run. And I have to say I'm quite liking it. Emperor card. No. Yeah, we'll use it anyway. Whipworm. Now that is a trinket I want. For the pseudo range and the shot speed. I mean, look at this, right? That is a good thing. You don't need that key, James. Ah, there's the boss. I was going the wrong way first up. Right, so now we've got lots and lots of speed. We've got good shot speed. And we've got Isaac to fight. We've got good damage. Oh wow. Well, that's that's terrible. There we go. Come on. Down to your second phase. There we go. What was that? Okay, so, so how much health have we lost on Isaac here? Just because you were trying to avoid the angel fetuses? That's right. The answer is too much. Again. You got him down though. We unlocked guillotine.
Okay, we're getting something decent from these. Monster Manuel is not going to cut it. Ooh. They might, though. Okay, we'll use Monster Manuel anyway. Pinking Shears. Pinking Shears is a way to win. So long as you save it for the uh, for the fights where you need it. If you use it for Blue Baby, it's definitely a way to beat Blue Baby. Probably a way to beat Monstro as well. Monstro 2, that is. I do like how the fact that it's like a bat now with our movement speed because of the fact that we had the uh, war do it. Okay, thank you. And of course we have the miter now. And the miter will uh, give us, a, us an increased chance for soul hearts. As you can see. So that's going pretty well. Lovely. So we're going to get this run done and then we're going to go outside and see, see what's going on. Linger Bean. Welcome. I don't need to worry about the creep here. But Harbingers has definitely been pulling its weight on this run. And normally, I would use the pinky and shares on death here. However, I don't really think we need to. Good. We did lose half a heart there, although. Daddy long legs. Oh no. I think they've made Daddy Long legs harder as well, honestly. Okay, that was terrible. Okay, there's plenty of red hearts on the floor though. No reason to get too stressed out. If we can make it to Blue Baby, we can win. Put this in. And it gives us Bookworm. For anyone who does not know, Bookworm gives us a chance of doubling our shots. Same mistakes again, anyone? It's fine, it's not hush. And Dead Cat actually makes us more likely to survive here. Yeah, we'll take Bob Scars. Game Kid? Nope. And it's going to be a full clear on the chest. Joyous. Good rare enemies, these ones, the blue ones. I tend not to see them all that often. Say hello to the Forsaken. Right. Remember, you are one hit away from death here. What way is it going? that way. It's fine. Oh, more Harbingers, eh? Alright. Okay, you're not using pink and shears here. There is really no need. It's good. Hmm. 
Hmm? Almost got hit there. Yeah, remember you've got brimstone bombs as well. You're doing all right. Could do with a soul heart. Thank you. And here we are. On blue baby. We use the pinking shears. And that should be just about that. Well, that's unfair. Okay. And again. And there we go. Perfect. Run over. We didn't get anything for that. Oh well. Double run. Double run for the benefit of everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was just over an hour, so sorry about the first hush one, but we got a good one anyway. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, we'll say bye for now. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you again soon.